average 15 points, six rebounds, and four assists a game. He's definitely their star. John Higgins, Michael Irving, Jeff Hartness, our officials. Here we go. And it'll be Matt Alaco at the points. Right away, I want to see how is Princeton going to handle the pressure for Missouri. Missouri is one of the better pressure teams in this league. You see how far extended they are right now. Princeton is going to have to be able to handle that all game long because it will be relentless. Here's an open look on the outside. All the way around twice and out for Alaco on the three-pointer. Nick Honor at the point for the Missouri Tigers. Gets it to Golston. He's going to drive the left baseline. Aroma cuts him off. Gets it back with four to shoot. He'll go up over Aroma. And battle for the rebound. One by Princeton right in front of their head coach. And that was an excellent block out by Alaco right there. He had Brown on his back. And there's a definite size advantage, but he held his own. This is where Princeton's dangerous. You get a, a woman in the middle of the court. And you see a foul there on Brown. They have a lot of cuts on the strong side and the weak side. They're going to test your mentals and how long you can finish, you can stay disciplined and go through their sets on a defensive end. Well, Kobe Brown, as Brandon said, picks up his first foul. Blank board will inbound to Princeton. Way out on top to Alaco. Langmore, drive inside is good. Fine Langmore, the first bucket for Princeton. Brown calling for the clear out right here. He likes the matchup. Baseline jumper way too strong. Langmore will pull it off the backside. Awoma on the dribble, the kick to the corner. Gets it right back. Nice ball movement by Princeton. Three-pointer won't go. Cleared out by Noah Carter. So far early on, Princeton's having no problem with the pressure getting really good looks. Connor in low, back outside. Noah Carter's the three. Got it. Woma working against Brown again. Three-pointer Langborg. Kept alive by Kelman. Princeton will get another chance. Maybe. Under 10 to shoot. Langborg's going to go straight up with it. Got it. Ryan Langborg. The opening five for Princeton. Princeton needed to see one of those go down. Like I said, to get good looks, just haven't been able to knock them in. That was one of the surprising things about the upset they had over Arizona as we see the, as we see Carter trying to go to work inside. Normally when you see a team make this big of an upset, they get really hot from behind the three-point line right. or they, they have a great assist turnover ratio. Princeton was, was only 4.5 to 3. And I think 10 assists to 12 turnovers against Arizona was still able to win that game. So they haven't kept, played their best basketball yet in this tournament. They just kept hanging around and hanging around until they pulled off the upset the other day. In the paint, midway jumper for Alaco. So Langborg and Carter have the opening five points for their teams. And you see Princeton, every time they get a rebound, they get they get the ball, they gather themselves, they slow it down. They don't want this game to be played at the same pace that Missouri does. Missouri averages over 79 a game. And when they hit the 70 mark, they don't lose 23-0 at 70-plus this year. Nice ball movement again. Langborg, same spot, same result. Didn't even move the net. This Missouri defense, they're opportunistic. They get a lot of steals, they get a lot of turnovers, but they're actually not that good guarding the three-point line. Princeton taking advantage of that early. Carter trying to split a double team, and the hook shot is good. Boy, North Carter off to a fast start. Same story against Utah State the other day. He has all seven of Mizzou's points. Oma has 
get the score. Try to get inside to do so. Has to kick it back out to Alaco on a runner. Hodge for Missouri. Going to take it all the way himself. Hodge looking for a foul right there. Didn't get the call. Five minutes into the game, and Princeton with a three point advantage. It's going to be interesting to see if Princeton pulls out some of them. And this is some great defense right there by Missouri. I want to see if Prince is going to pull out some of those old school backdoor cuts because there's so much pressure from the Missouri side. And ball out of bounds to Princeton. The Langmore group enjoying what they're seeing from their kid, Ryan, with a couple of threes. And now underestimated to undeniable presented by Powerade. If you weren't with us Thursday, here's what happened. Number 15, Princeton. Knocked off number two, Arizona. Becoming the 11th, 15 seed all time to beat a number two. It was Princeton's first NCAA tournament win since 1998. And Coach Henderson got a shower from his players. Pretty special moment on Thursday in their win, 59 to 55. And now they're trying to beat another group of Tigers from Mizzou to advance to the Sweet 16. Just underway here. Princeton 10, Noah Carter 7. Noah's got all of the Zoo's points so far. Big thing for Princeton early on, no turnovers. It's going to be a battle of Princeton execution versus Missouri's pressure defense. Langborg, oh my goodness. Now right now, Princeton's winning the battle. Langborg is winning it almost by himself. He's got 11. Like I said, that's the weakness in Missouri's defense. They allow teams to hit 35% from three on the year. That's 284th in the nation. That's not good. Not really. <laughs> Landmark only had eight points the other day, and he's already got 11. Colston in the score column for Missouri. Yeah, somebody might want to guard that guy. Yeah, got to guard him. Oh, he's heat checking now off the front of the iron that time. And you kept alive, though, on the baseline, and there's the first turnover. That's what Missouri wants. And when they get these turnovers, they want to run. Push that tempo, push the pace. Goldstein. And foul in the paint. First round coverage of the NCAA Division I Women's Basketball Championship continues tonight on ESPN, ESPN2, ESPNU, and ESPN News. For more information on game times and listings, go to NCAA.com. Dave Pierce picked up the foul for Princeton. Golston trying to get it inside, did to Kobe Brown. Went for the interception, didn't get it. Gave up the touchdown the other way for Kobe Brown. Backcourt pressure from Missouri. Lead cut to two. Damian Lee in the lineup on the dribble. And Lee brings him a lot of energy off the bench. Gave up a three. Kicks it back outside. Alaco weaving through traffic to get that jumper. I'll tell you what. I like the results of what Princeton is doing from an offensive efficiency standpoint against his pressure defense early. Carter bumps, and they're going to call a foul on Zach Martini. And this is what you have to see Lanka right here. He understands they're going to pressure him. Pump fakes, takes a dribble, sees Brown isn't going to recover. Nice mid-range jumper. You know the analytics guys say that's not, a, that's not a good shot. I tend to disagree. No, I disagree all the time with analytics guys. So with you. <laughs> Game's not won on the tablet. Uh -uh. Sean East in the lineup now for Missouri, as well as Aiden Shaw. Here's East. Back out. Colston. We won't go. Princeton with a rebound. Good help inside right there by Lee on that offensive rebound. And another 
quick foul on Hodge. Best Coke ever? Take a taste and see for yourself. Alaco goes out. Langborg comes back in. A little bit of a quick breather before the next media timeout. Six on the shot clock. A Woma short. Trying to right. get his own miss, and it's going to be out of bounds to Princeton. Great defense by Carter. Stepping up, not fouling, but making sure there was a wall there so A Woma could not get that shot away. Welcome back. I'm with head coach Dennis Gates. Coach, right now, Princeton very efficient on offense. How can you slow them down? Well, they're making shots. Uh, we got to do a better job staying down on shot fakes and contest shots. Are you happy with the pace of play right now? Yeah, absolutely. Thank you, Coach. Thanks. And a few words. Coach Gates, watch live men's games on your computer, phone, tablet, or streaming device with NCAA March Madness Live. Scan the QR code now to download. There's the guy of the first half so far, Ryan Langborg. Three threes, 11 points. No offensive rebounds for the Tigers so far, so he might like the pace of play, but I think he'd like to be as efficient as Princeton's been so far. Oh, yeah. Also for Missouri, no fast break points. That's huge for Princeton. You can keep this, if you can keep Missouri out of the transition game, you have a good chance of winning. Yeah. Lee picked up his dribble and a little bit of trouble and threw it away. Only the second turnover by Princeton. The boy Hodge, let's see if they can get him warmed up like he was the other day. He was hot. He was hot in fish the other day. <laughs> Hunter has a look up at the clock. We work under 10 on the shot clock. Hook shot won't go that time for Carter. Langborg on the drive, the scoop, great look to his teammate Kelvin. That was an excellent pass right there. On the other end, block shot by Kelvin. Kelvin giving it to him on both ends. You see the drive to the basket. Defense rotates, make the pass. Kelvin's going to get up and throw it down. And then on the other end of the court, I like the fact that Kelman didn't panic in the air. He used the, the rules of verticality to make sure he's able to challenge that shot without fouling. A lot of bigs, when they come over, they panic in the air, and you see him swat down and get aggressive. That's how you end up giving away fouls. Hey, Walma, his pass to the same guy. Same result. Princeton up by eight. Princeton is cutting this Missouri Tigers defense up. Nick Honor backpedals and takes a three, and he got it. Boy, they need that one. On your honor. Yes, indeed. They needed that to stop the run. Yep. For sure. Also to set up this press. Locko has a good matchup on Carter. They're doing this without their leading scorer in the scorebook yet. He might be after that drive. He is. No son, Iwoma. And that's the one thing about Missouri's defense. They do a lot of switching. And when teams switch every ball screen and weak side uh, screen, what you can do is you can pinpoint your mismatches. That's the midway point of the half. Oh. Brown, tough catch, missed the shot, working for his own rebound, and possession arrow is going to keep it in the hands of Missouri. Brown's not giving that ball up either. TNT and HBO Max are your homes for U.S. soccer. Watch the biggest men's and women's national teams games all year long on TNT and HBO Max. Princeton Tigers playing to the max right now, up seven. And they have been so efficient. 
I don't know if they can keep this pace, but they look really good. <laughs> look how strong Brown is. He, he just carried my man with one arm. <laughs> Carrying the ball and Alaco with him. Taking him for a ride. But on that tie-up, it's Missouri basketball. Hodge in to Kobe Brown. And nice job defensively, but it's going to still be Missouri ball. Hodge pull up three. Caden Pierce up high for the rebound. Once again, another one and done possession for the Missouri Tigers. Ooh. Awoma, little no look. Got it, baseline. That three won't go. A woman keeps it alive and underneath. They missed in close. Caden Pierce and a little too deep. Oh, Pierce missed the bunny right there. Kobe Brown for three. In and out. And Pierce again will clean the glass. Well, Princeton, settle it down. You're up seven. Game's at your pace. Don't rush it at all. Black board. Another offensive rebound for Ray Woma. And Missouri's trying to play a little bit of a zone right here. Alaco. Boy, they're getting great looks there. Yeah. Golston in traffic. Got it back. Pick it out. Second chance got swatted out of there as well. You get that offensive rebound. If you see two to three guys from the other team in your face, that means your teammates are wide open for you to spray it out for a three. Langborg gave up a three. Martini didn't and missed it. This zone looks a little leaky part now. They, I mean, Prince is not knocking down shots, but they're getting whatever they want to as far as when it comes down to clean looks against that zone. Brown misses a three again. Hey, Woman's going to have 20 rebounds if he keeps this pace up. Another three goes. This one, it's Martini time. I know Coach Gates is trying to throw something different at Princeton because the pressure wasn't working, but they're probably going to have to go back to the pressure because the zone just isn't it right now. Timeout. 11-3 run. Princeton up 10. Martini, shaken, not stirred. <laughs> and now some moments of care presented by Dove Men Plus Care. Thursday in the win over Utah State, Missouri Tigers. Demoy Hodge led the way with 23. Ben Sternberg led the cheers, both on the bench and then mimicking Dana, interviewing the coach. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love it. Dana, gotta love it. And you know what? Gates calls him the engine, and he's actually the bench manager. He brings EGB, they call it energy generating behaviors. He says it's the bench mob, it's the charging station, and what they need to do is keep the guys going from the bench. Watch him. It's exactly what he does. He was a blast to watch all day on Thursday, and I'm sure if things start going better, we'll see more of that today. Right now, his team is down 10. And that energy is very important. A lot of people think it's corny or this, that, and the third, but. At the end of the day, as we see an offensive foul charge taken. Uh oh, I think the baseline official has a different call. And it's going to be on Golston for the charge. But that energy, when you're down and you have, and you look over there and your bench is, is hype, it really just does something to energize you. Under seven to go. First half, the Princeton Tigers leading the Tigers of Missouri double digits. Welcome back. I'm here with Coach Mitch Henderson. Coach, I was going to ask you something specific, but there are so many things on the glass. Efficient offense right now. What is the early assessment on how your team is doing? Yeah, they, we're playing with really good poise. We're taking care of the ball, getting great shots. Um, and we're, be, we're able to guard them. We know that they're explosive. A run's coming. We just got to stay with our poise. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. That's a smart coach. I know there's a run coming, and there will be, trust me. But so far, the run's been Princeton's Tigers, not the other way around. Langborg early 11 points to lead the way for Princeton. And a 10 point cushion. Missouri's the bigger, stronger, more physical team, but you wouldn't know it looking at the stat sheet. Uh -uh. Points in the paint in favor of Princeton, 10 to 6. Locko 
looking for a pick from a Womo. Five to shoot. Langborg going to drive for it. Lost the handle. Just got the shot away before the shot clock expired. Not the best possession that time, but a good job defensively by Missouri. If you're Missouri, you got to get your studs going. Kobe Brown has two points. Hodge has zero. These are your guys, even though Carter looks like the guy tonight. But your best two players got to get going. It can't be two points between them. Carter's got nine of their 16. Langborg, this time he drives and scores. And that's what Carter, that's what Carter sometimes struggled with, his footwork on the perimeter. Your Princeton, keep that in the back of your mind. Anytime you get a certain matchup, because Missouri's switching, don't be afraid to clear it out. Carter will try it from the outside and got it. Noah Carter keeping Missouri in this thing. He's the whole Missouri offense right now. He's absolutely cooking. Langboard feeds the post. A warm up. Quick move to the baseline. Score it and one. Foul on Golston. And that's what happens with the switching defense right there. Awoma saw the smaller defender guarding him, slid right to the post, no wasted motion. Got right to the baseline and won. That's two on Golston. And he will be coming out. That's the advantage of this spread Princeton offense. When Awoma wants to go down to that low block, there's not a lot of room for anybody to come double team because everybody else is floating around the perimeter and there's so much action behind it. And it completes the three-point play. So Tosan's got five. And the lead goes back to ten. Honor in deep, kicks it back out to Kobe Brown. Ooh, ooh. Wave it off, but that was some authority by Kobe Brown, but he was fouled before the shot. And that's more of what Missouri needs. Kobe Brown being aggressive, going to the basket. So he gets the bump right there and keeps going. If I'm Coach Gage, I'm getting the ball to Brown on purpose. Dump it down to Carter. Carter off the window, not this time. And tough rebound, and then Brown picks up the foul. That's his second. It is, and that's not good news for them. They've got Golston and Brown each with two. Nope. So, a slow start for the guys that were huge on Thursday. You look at those numbers, it's no surprise that Missouri's down 10 points right now and only has 19 points with four minutes in his first half. had the words tonight on there because a lot of you are watching and it's nighttime. It's only the middle of the afternoon here in Sacramento. Yeah, I'm an East Coast kid, man. It, it feels feels weird turning on your TV at 9 a.m. and seeing basketball. I know, exactly. <laughs> they roll with a double team. Wide open look on the other side for Alaco. Kellum, the offensive glass, and then lost the handle. Kobe Brown, and he's going to be fouled by Alaco. One word can change everything. Shazam! Fury of the Gods now playing only in theaters. Ready PG, get your tickets now. Starring Zachary Levi. Did a movie with Zachary Levi a couple years ago. You did? What movie was that? Uh, American Underdog. Okay. I didn't know you had some, some IMBD credits. <laughs> it's mostly my voice. <laughs> hey, listen, you still get the credit, right? <laughs> yeah. Approaching the four-minute mark. Somebody other than Carter has got to come to the forefront here for Missouri. They're going to cut this lead down before halftime. Four to shoot. 
East back battles and West fly for three. Nobody there except Caden Pierce for the rebound. And that wasn't a really a, a great possession. The Missouri ball didn't really move that much. Ended up with a bailout three. And now on the defensive end there, they're switching back to the zone. This time going with a 1-3-1 there. One Locker, a little head fake, thought he was going to take the three. And now somebody will have to take the shot. Langborn was the hot hand early. He's going to try to drive for it. Scoop shot, got it. Woo. What a game Langborn's had. Carter is three is short. Hey, Woma, another rebound. Hey, Woma, the drive, lay in with the left hand. Missouri needs a timeout right now. All right, Zuck, thanks. The winner of that one goes on to meet the winner of St. Mary's and UConn. The Langborg family's having fun today. Kimberly and Kurt. Kurt was a swimmer at Yale. Looks okay. like he could still get hit the pool, but their kid is hitting everything right now. He's, He's got 15 points. Get whatever he wants. As you see him right here, knocking down a three. Right in Hodges' grill. Another three. This time, Kobe Brown can get something. Langborg only averages 12 on the season. Already has 15 tonight. He likes this arena, Golden One Center. He won a state championship here when he was a senior in high school, led his team at 23 points and 17 rebounds. He might have 23 before we're done here. I like the looks of the backboard and the net. I don't know. He's hitting everything. In close. Mizzou can't get it. The aura on the miss. They'll get another chance, though. East, a three. And another rebound. Caden Pierce has nine rebounds in the first half. Wow, whether it's Pierce on the glass or Lane Moore behind the three-point line. Oh, man. Princeton just finding guys, finding a way to get it done. Two minutes remaining in the half. Five to shoot. A Woma going to work, kicks out, baseline three, air ball. That's a great closeout right there by Carter. The boy Hodge has yet to score. He's trying to get downhill now. And he got there. That's what they needed. When your team is down like that and you're one of the best players on the team, you have to go out there and take a bucket. That is exactly what Hodge just did. And we've got a whistle and a foul coming up on AT&T at the half. Scores and highlights. And the latest NCAA tournament news. It's all coming up on AT&T at the half, which is 133 from now, Missouri Tigers have run into a buzzsaw in the Princeton Tigers. And Coach Henderson's going to take a timeout. We'll take it with him. 133 to the break. And now, thrilling drives presented by Nissan. Yeah, whether he's doing it on the outside or driving like that, Ryan Langborg has had himself a first half, leading the way with 15 right now, and the lead is 33-21. If you're Princeton, you've gotten everything you wanted out of this game. You've gotten even the shots that haven't gone in, they've been quality look. Right. Wide open corner threes, drives to the basket. A Walma, little mid-range jumper, and Hodge with the rebound. Otto gets it back out on top to Kobe Brown as we approach a minute. As Brown on low block, We're working toward it behind the back pass. And now knocked out of bounds. It'll be 2.4 seconds on the shot clock. Now the last couple of years, New Jersey's done pretty well, haven't they? Yes, indeed. Purdue felt the sting yesterday. That was incredible. Arizona felt it on Thursday right here. It was St. Peter's last year that made it to the Elite Eight.
Murray. Honor got it away. Got the three. Big shot by Nick Honor. Big time shot by Honor. Great recognition by Brown. As soon as he caught it, he knew he had a hot potato right back to Honor because the shot clock was running down. That gets it back to a single digit advantage. Now that shot by Nick Honor. This is a big possession for Missouri. You want to make sure you go into halftime only down single digits. Malaco got it back. Got his man in the air and he walked. Des Moy Hodge made a little jump at him and Malaco flinched. Oh, that shot by Nick Honor. Missouri definitely needed him. Mitch Anderson knows we had him right where we wanted him. There was only 2.4 seconds on the shot clock and they got that good a look. That's the life smallest guy on the floor took it too. <laughs> That's the life of a coach right there, living yeah. and dying on every possession. Exactly. So now Missouri's got a chance here to make this a much closer game than it was a couple of minutes ago. If I'm Missouri, I'm going to run this pick and roll, get the ball to Kobe Brown in the middle of the court, and then tell everybody to get out of his way. I want my best player feeling good going into halftime. Nick Honor on the dribble, the switch off. Five on the shot clock, and have to hurry. East on a runner. Got it. Sean East at the buzzer. And what could have been really bad news for the Missouri Tigers ends up only being a seven point edge for Princeton. That's in the nick of time right there. His only basket of the half, but it was a big one. Dana? Coach, they cut that lead down to seven. That's not the way I know you want to go into the half. How were they able to chop back into it? They, they, were, they made some really tough shots. We're doing great. We just have to keep getting good shots, not take care, you know, take, to keep taking care of the ball. Um, we'll, be, we'll be fine. We've seen, obviously, you're getting a performance from some of your role players, not just Tosin Awoma. What do you need to do to get a little bit more out of Tosin? Uh, I mean, it's, it's, he's funny, like, He's playing great. Like he, he's distributing to so many different guys. So um, we have confidence in what he is, and he has a way of sort of taking over at the end of the game. All right, thanks, Coach. Good luck in the second half. Thank you. So Princeton, a surprise winner on Thursday, a surprise leader, maybe, depending on which team of Tigers you're cheering for. At the break, 33-26, at and at the half. After these messages, you're watching the NCAA Men's Basketball Championship. Let's take a look at the Wendy's first half statistics. Princeton, a seven-point lead right now. They led by as many as 14 at one point. Missouri has not been to the free throw line. And Princeton, everything they're, everything they're doing is turning out well. Welcome back, everybody. Brad Nessler. Brendan, the one thing that's not on there, 7-0 run by the Missouri Tigers to end the half, and that at least has got them in the game. Listen, Missouri has to feel good about themselves even be down by this amount because Princeton really dominated the first half. Their best players, Hodge and Brown, really didn't get going. But luckily for them, Noah Carter was the man. Noah Carter had 12, but Ryan Langborg was sensational. Hit three early threes, and he also drove for shots like this on his way to the 15 points to lead the way. Noah Carter, as Brendan just told you, he was big early in the win on Thursday, too, and he was keeping them alive. A couple of threes, 12 points to lead the way for the Missouri Tigers. We're going to have a whale of a second half between these two groups of Tigers. Dana? Guys, I talked with head coach Dennis Gates, who was happy with how they ended that first half with that 7-0 run. And he said to me, as far as the second half goes, we just need a little more of the same. We need to keep defending. We need to hold Princeton to one shot. And then when we get ours, we got to start knocking them down. Specifically, Kobe Brown needs to get a good look, knock it down. And he mentioned the free throw line, as you did. We need to get Kobe to the line. That'll be a difference. Well, he's only got two points, and he is their star, or has been all season long, first team, all SEC. and. They got to get him going early. We'll see. But the free throw line is big. Missouri hasn't been to the free throw line yet. And they have a decided size advantage. Langmore, can he start the way he did in the first half? Not that time. And it's going to be Princeton ball, though. Kept alive on the baseline by Kelman. You saw Kelman on the backside doing some work. Taking advantage of the space in there in that zone. A lot of times when teams run zone, there's, they lose track of people on the weak side. Oh, 
Langborg thought about it again. Instead, he feeds it down. They kick it around to Alaco. Six on the shot clock. Alaco needs some help. Hides with the steal. And Ghost is wide open underneath. Honor missed him. And Honor will regroup it at the top. Hunter had a couple of big three-pointers in that first half. Here's Kobe Brown. That's what they wanted to do, and they got it to him. And that's an excellent play design by Coach Gates. They run a double screen up top with Noah Carter popping and Brown going right to the front of the rim, taking advantage of his size. That's nine straight for Missouri now. If you go back to the end of the first half, and they cut the lead down to five. It was 14 at one point. Hey, listen, I'm a little old school. I'll tell you what, if I'm Missouri, I'd run that play again as soon as we got it. Alaco got the three. Right back into Kobe Brown. This time stuck back in his face by Kelman. Kobe Brown was seeking contact, but Kelman would have none of it. That's a muscle on muscle with those two guys, and Kelman muscles one in on the other end. Kelman has been hanging around that baseline, just ducking in, ducking out. We call that the dunker area for good reason, because he's been getting dunked right there. But just like that, Princeton pushes it back to double digits. See, if you see those two black marks on the baseline, a lot of times if you're a big that can't shoot, your coaches tell you to slide back and forth on that baseline and get to that area known as the dunker. Ewoma with a rebound off the miss. Alaco all the way in, tucked in by Kelman. You know, the energy this guy is bringing. Whether it's offensive rebounds, strong finishes, great rotations on defense, he's doing it all on some hero. With nine straight points for Missouri, now seven straight for Princeton. Back inside, Brown backing in. Up and blocked again. Hodge trying oh, to slam it. He fell down hard. I think he landed on his face, on the side of his head. And a foul on the other end is going to be on Carter, but everybody's concerned now about number five. As he hit the deck hard, trying to go in on the baseline, was going in for the jam, and the landing after that is not going to be good. Oof. Hoping he's okay. Boy. Nothing dirty or malicious. Actually, very good defense by Awoma. It was just one of those bang-bang contact plays. Hodge went for the highlight jam, and Awoma rotated over in enough time to cover it up. Boy, be it helped over for the Missouri bench. And take a seat, and hopefully he'll be able to come back in. Hmm. Concern on the face of the Missouri fans. And us as well. Hate to see that. One of their starts going down for a brilliant game on Thursday. And hopefully a little bit of time will help that, I hope, for him and for the game and for the Missouri Tigers. 40-28, Princeton. And they'll have the ball on the baseline, and Langborg will inbound. I thought they called a foul before the timeout on uh, yeah, Missouri, Carter. Yeah, Missouri took a foul. Try to stop the break. That's what they're talking about now. So they're resetting the shot clock, I think, is what's going on. And it'll be a side out in front of us instead of down on the baseline. We got everything straightened out. John Higgins, Michael Irving, Jeb Hartness, our officials. Langmore rattled out of three. Kobe Brown with the rebound. Golston in the paint. Short. Woma will kick it back outside. 
Chilaco, mid-range jumper. That's been his thing today, but not that one. Honor out of control. Bodies falling everywhere. No calls being made. Princeton's ball. Just out of bounds. That's it. Right at the four-minute in mark. 16 to play. 40-28. All the five seeds survived the first round for the sixth time since 85. San Diego State, the amount of wins in the Mountain West and the rest of the league, they've got two more. They're already in the Sweet 16. Tennessee's there. That's why Candace is so happy today. Kind of like you when you walked in the big smile on your face because Duke lost. Kind of the same reason. Kelman, <laughs> Kelman playing like my big man partner. And it's um, man-sized rebounds and slams. He's been big. He's not a big scorer normally. But uh, he's got eight right now, which is right on his average, and we still have 16 minutes to play. He's using that big, strong frame around the basket to carve out space. He's one of those guys, when they say no days off when it comes to the weight room, <laughs> they talk about guys that look like Kelman. <laughs> oh, nice wow. wraparound pass by Langborg, but Pierce missed him close. That's a nice pass. Pierce got to finish that one off. Ghost is just going to pull up and take the jumper, and he's fouled. He'll go to the free throw line for three. See, like that's a nice dime. Pierce just has to finish that one. Take your time. Don't rush it. Well, DeAndre Golston going to the free throw line. First trip to the free throw line for Mizzou all day, right, George? And it's good. Follow, highlight her for everything you need to see her do in sports and culture. Scan the QR. Code now and don't miss another moment. Gentleman comes back in and Martini will go out. And the lead cut back to single digits. Or he's not giving up on that. He's poking backcourt pressure. No, that, that's, not what they, that's what they do. They're going to pressure you all game long. And ball pressure and forecourt pressure is kind of like body shots in a, in a boxing match. It won't knock you out, but it'll wear you down. Lang Lord, seven on the shot clock. What a bullet pass down to Kelman. Oh, and he had it rejected in there by Diara. Diara was a nice, nice block. Pull up three, honor off the mark. And they warm up with a rebound. That's not the shot you need right there. Honor came down, nobody else touched it. First side jumper. Langborg. Not sure how he missed that one either, but Pierce kept it alive. Good rebound by Pierce. Now you see Princeton, they're not in a rush. They're going to slow this thing down, make sure they get a good quality shot against the zone. David Pierce, the freshman for Princeton, has 10 rebounds in the game. Oh, rejected by Diara again. Diara is blocking everything. He's got more blocks than Lego land. <laughs> and it's going to be a foul on the baseline. And when you're in the NCAA tournament, you need somebody to come off the bench with big time energy. That's what we're getting right here. Return to sender. Sean East going to the free throw line. Started off at UMass, Bradley, played at John Logan Community College, and now here a senior, 6'3", out of Louisville, at the line. That's his third point. TBS, proud to be the only network that can bring you all new episodes of American Dad. New season premieres Monday, March 27th, only on TBS. Both. That's Demoy Hodge at least back in it, cheering on his teammates on the bench. We don't know if he's going to come back in or not after that nasty spill a few minutes ago. And against that zone in the middle, Missouri's defense looks vulnerable. I'd like to get a woman in the middle with Kelman slicing behind that defense on the baseline. Oh, Walmart's heading to the middle. Pierce drives, no good. 
Kept alive, though, on the baseline, and now trap in the corner. And almost a steal by East. As they had Blake Peters trapped over there at the very end of the floor. Back out here to Pierce in the backcourt. Peters hit some big threes yesterday for Princeton. Uh, Thursday, I should say. Here's Pierce for three. And that's wide open. Is you see the big fella beating his chest? He knows that was supposed to be his rotation. But a lot of times, as big men, we don't like to, we don't like to come out of that paint. <laughs> And whistle and a foul on Peters. You see right there when that ball swung, you got to get from the from the paint to the corner and run Pierce off that three point shot, but it didn't happen on that possession. <laughs> Pierce dialing one up from long range. That's his first basket, and it makes it a ten point game again. Andre Goldston, only one field goal for him today so far. Nice bounce pass, Diara, and then East. Looks like a little globe trotter drill right there in the paint. That was a nice, nice pass by Diara. Good catch, and then took his time and found East slicing through the lane. That's one short. And Walmart takes it alive and then lost the handle to East. And then he's fouled by Zach Martini. Best Coke ever? Take a taste. See for yourself. That last trip down court on Missouri. Y'all with a nice catch. A little hot potato action right to East. Johnny on the spot. Olsen from the free throw line, in and out. East going back up with it again. Ball just died on the rim there for a second. And now Martini hits the deck, but came up with the ball. Ref's letting him play out there. Hand-to-hand -hand combat. It's a battle for the ball. Whoever's going to be the toughest. Langborg's going to let it fly. Yara off the miss. Missouri might need to let Noah Carter get a look with Brown and Hogg both out. Carter started his game off hot, but he hasn't had it many touches lately. Hasn't scored in this game at 12, as you mentioned, in the first half. East. He's not shy. About shooting. And then he picks up the foul after the miss. 43-35. To be a fan of the Tigers of Missouri. Oh, just can't get over the hump. Princeton by eight. Adam Zucker in New York with a big tournament update. Tension building on CBS as well. We're in the final minute. Arkansas has 15 offensive rebounds. Kamani Johnson with the putback. It's a free throw battle right now. They lead the defending national champs by three with 20 seconds left. Ness. All right, Zuck, so another number one seed in danger. Arkansas and Kansas on CBS here. It's Princeton leading Missouri's Tigers, 43-35. Missouri's only had one lead, and that was a 3-2 way early in the ball game. But the Tigers, the guys that just have been there, bread and butter all season long, and they were on Thursday in their win over Utah State, they're not producing right now. Yeah, and I'm surprised that coming out of this timeout, Kobe Brown is still on the bench. Moy Hodge is able to come back in, Dana told us, from the bench. Both but we haven't seen him. Both those guys are needed right now. Great drop. And good hustle by everybody. 
That's going to be a possession arrow to Missouri. There's Hodge in the middle. 23 points the other day. And two so far this afternoon. 21 of five. Carter's got an advantage inside against the lockoff. Had to give it up for Golston on the drive. Score it. That's a good drive right there by Golston. Driving the closeout. Carter calls the problem in the paint. Draw two to three defenders. And you, then you kick it out to your teammate and let him make the decision. Curry cuts it to six. Peters for three. Got it. Told you he had some big ones the other day. Three of them, in fact. And that's the second time. Yara is not getting out to the corner. He hesitated again and gave up another corner three. And right now, it's on the shoulders of DeAndre Golston. Arkansas and Kansas on CBS. I think they're down to the final 10 seconds, 8 seconds. You want to see that finish? Hey, you got a lighter? <laughs> Go ahead, light my bracket on fire. <laughs> Kansas loses this game. Oh, they burned mine. <laughs> yeah. We're at the midway point of the second half here. Princeton's led virtually throughout. Aloma keeps it alive with the offensive rebound. The amount of wide open corner threes that Princeton is getting it would be very disturbing to me if I was a Missouri, Missouri fan. There goes another. There goes another. There goes another. Any shooter will tell you that's the easiest place on the court to knock down an open triple. If you're getting good open corner threes, you're doing something well offensively. Peters has hit the last two. Blake Peters, sophomore. Oh, wow, that's a blazer for you right there. You got to get one of those. No, I would do not. <laughs> As we see Peters hit the three-point shot. I don't even know where do you get a blazer like that? That thing is wow. sweet. I like that. You like that? You'd, I do. you'd rock that? I, I could take one of those and go to the what? tiny Tony the Tiger Bowl in El Paso. They'd love me. Wow. You gotta get that custom, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no way you buy that off the rack. <laughs> Princeton eight three pointers. In this game, they only had four. Brendan pointed it out earlier. They're four for 25. There goes another one. That one short. And Pierce has got another rebound. The freshman double-digit boards here in the NCAA tournament. Uh-oh. And we lost that ball. <laughs> they might need me to go out there and go get it. You can see a warmer right here seeking the contact. He lets it go with ends up on the top of the backboard. Kobe Brown picked up his third foul on that too as well. We got, we got, we got to get the cheerleaders up on the shoulders again. I remember that from last year. You could just walk out there and move that thing, couldn't you? Possibly. <laughs> Think I can get it? I might, I might run out there. There we go. I'm about to run out there. They didn't get it done. The all heroes don't wear capes. <laughs> All right, we got the ball back. Tosan, Awoma at the free throw line. He hit his first one, his only one, in the first half. Part of a three-point play. And he rips that one as well. Get complete coverage of the NCAA Division I Women's Tournament on NCAA.com. Coming into this game, I was wondering how Princeton would hold up physically against Missouri. Hasn't been a problem. Not at all. I mean, Princeton has 13 offensive rebounds, and you don't ex you wouldn't expect that. You thought when you look at Missouri, they look like a football team, a lot of big, strong guys. You thought they'd be able to muscle their way in there, but that has not been the case tonight. With that, the second chance points are all Princeton. Missouri has none. 12-point lead that matches their biggest to this half. Honor for three. Short. And Peters with a rebound. It's eight minutes to play. 
You're down double figures. You got to ride your stuff. You got to get the ball to Hodge. Got to get it to Brown. You got to get it to him on purpose and let them fight their way back into this ball game. Hodge is back out on the floor. And so is Brown. Got to right run, gotta, gotta, gotta run, run some direct sets for him. Oh, nice. Oh, wow. Oh, we put him in the 17. Put him in the blender. Arkansas has upset Kansas. We understand. You were watching that game. We welcome you to what might be an upset here. Oh wow! Obi Brown and hits the deck hard with Matt Alaco. Princeton ball. Excellent defense by Brown. Rotating over, just took that ball straight out of the air. Eight oh four remaining, and there's the denial by Kobe Brown. Both guys hit the deck. Tell you, man, I can't wait to see Eric Musselman in that Arkansas locker room. You know, he's always good for a highlighter, too. Blake Peters again. Peters good for a highlighter, too, as well. Biggest lead of the ball game for the Princeton Tigers. Up 17. Blake Peters came off the bench on Thursday and had three threes. He's come off the bench for Princeton today. Three more threes. Princeton, can they hang on with 7.51 to go? They're looking pretty good. 56-39. Since 2016, the celebration is on now. Oh, I'm sure. Arkansas, that's their third straight sweet 16. Good for them, but bad for number one seeds. If I was Houston and Alabama, I guess I'd be nervous. Wouldn't you? Definitely have to be exposed. But that's just what, how the season's been. A lot of parity. Dick Honor at the free throw line. Knocks down the first one. Watch CBS Sports HQ for free 24-7 coverage of the big dance and all the biggest moments in sports. Catch tournament highlights, picks, previews, recaps, and more. Download the CBS Sports app to watch today. Let's check in with Dana. Guys, we might expect this after spending a little time with Missouri. No panic in their huddle despite the deficit right now. The idea was just stay settled, stick together as they've done all season, move your feet, make them give us the ball. And Nick Honor trying to take the ball, but instead he takes the foul. Ooh. Just sort of ran over Blake Peters. And just straight shoulder block to the face, but you gotta love you gotta love basketball players, man. After you get somebody a shoulder block to the face, you turn around to the official and be like, what? That's yeah. a foul? <laughs> you telling me you're not allowed to do that? That type of thing is frowned upon? <laughs> I know about 14 years playing in the league, I didn't foul anybody. Oh, ever, no. Ever. 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 You didn't even do that at Carolina. Didn't commit one I foul. called enough of your games to know what that is. Hello. Langborn. Langborn with the step back three. Hodge with a missed three. Kept alive by Carter. And now Honor will try one. Hodge again to the ball. East. And I thought, and I thought East got fouled right there. Not been a lot of fouls in this game. It hasn't been a lot of fouls called. Well, yeah, that's what I should have said. <laughs> exactly. Been a lot of fouls. Have been a lot of fouls called, but I'll say this: the officials have been consistent. They've been letting it go both ways. They brought the mark, kept the line. Another, another rebound by Pierce. That's the story of the game. Not a lot of turnovers for Princeton. Beating Missouri on the on the glass handily. Caden Pierce has got 12 rebounds. A freshman for Princeton. Peters three-pointer is short. And riding the biggest lead of the day. Another not great shot, but that one will be followed by Noah Carter. That's his first field goal of the second half. Look how easily Princeton's handling the pressure. That hasn't rattled him at all. Not rattled. And a lot of times when a team initially breaks the press, 
They try to speed up and go for a basket. Princeton understands the clock is their friend. Yeah. As soon as we cross half court, let's settle it down, run some clock, and get a great shot. Six minutes to play. Peter. Oh, my goodness. Right on. And then he's shaking his head like, hey, man, they're going to get enough to leave me open. Blake Peters, four three-pointers in this half. Brown trying to answer on the other end and does. They're going to need a lot more of that from Brown. Missouri's going to get back in this. Again, they take their time. A woman out drives. The kick out. Peters is going to take another one. And another rebound by Pierce. Missouri has not taken care of the backboard all game long. Blake Peters, the sophomore, knocking down triples. Princeton about ready to knock down Missouri. Princeton a little over five minutes away from a trip to the Sweet 16. 62-45, got the lead and the ball. If you're Princeton, keep doing what you're doing, right, partner? Yeah, if you're Princeton, make sure that you get the ball, execute, no quick shots, no, no live ball turnovers. And that's what I thought Pierce was going to let that corner three fly. Now they work it down to five to shoot. The handoff. Oh. To Pierce. That's the perfect possession. Run the clock all the way down, end up with a nice dunk. East with a three on the other end. And another rebound by Princeton. They have just completely dominated the boards today. There's a, there's a smart play. Pierce thought about driving that one to the basket, but he understands, hey, man, it's more important that I take 15 to 20 seconds off this clock before we get this shot. Alaka says, I'll try one. I'm an older guy. Wow. <laughs> that's, that's, that's the game in a nutshell right there. Pierce playing on that baseline, and everybody from Princeton wanting the ball more than the guys from Missouri. Hayden Pierce has a new career high. That last rebound was his 14th of the day. 14 rebounds for a freshman playing in an NCAA tournament. That's big time. That is big time. And this guy's been big time, too. Junior out of San Diego. 20 points, six boards, four assists. Not bad, huh? Not bad at all. And now it's 21. Watch whip around coverage of all men's games on your computer, phone, tablet, or streaming device with Fast Break, presented by AT&T 5G in the March Madness Live app. Scan the QR code now to download. Missouri fans are not even able to look at what's going on right now here in Sacramento. And this has been one-sided from the start. From the very beginning of this game, it's been a Princeton type of game, and they haven't backed down at all. Kobe Brown hits a three. Could use a few more of those. A lot of people didn't think Princeton would even have a chance against Arizona. A lot of them thought not going to have a chance against Missouri. Blake Peters and company and said, we got a chance to beat anybody if we play like this. It's a straight up, it's a, it's straight up target practice at this point. Brown with another three. A little bit late. Brown getting cooking, but it might be too little too late. And with a push in the backcourt on Des Moy Hodge. Princeton, 329 away from the biggest win they've ever had. Each team, two timeouts remaining. And I don't know if Princeton's going to even have to worry about that, the way they've been playing and the way Blake Peters has come off the Princeton Tiger bench. He did it on Thursday with three threes. He has done it this afternoon with five threes, 15 points. All of this half just lighten it up. Target practice time for Blake Peters. And Princeton took the lead early, and they have never looked back. Princeton hasn't been rattled. The execution has been 
Excellent. This guy's been a rebounding machine. Pierce. The work, the work on the backboard is what's been the most impressive to me. I mean, right from the jump. They, like, look at this drive right here. And Otter knocks that out of bounds and then hurdles the camera guys down on the baseline. And even when Missouri, known for their ball pressure, every time they try to run up and pressure somebody from Princeton, they drive right by and they're breaking Missouri down like a fraction. They won't allow on the drive. Off the window, tipped in. Another offensive rebound. That was close to being an offensive interference. Scoring for Pierce. Goldston got it in close. And quick foul in the backcourt. You see the miss right here. Nobody on the weak side even attempts to block out Pierce. That's heart, that's hustle, that's energy. And it's all on the Princeton side of the court. And Princeton going back to the free throw line. A woman was not the greatest free throw shooter in the world, but today has been three for three. That's a fourth foul, too, on Kobe Brown, by the way, in the backcourt. That one spits out. East got it to drop. And Missouri's going to take a timeout here. 222 remaining. 16 points. Some of you right now are looking at this Princeton game and going, has any Ivy League school made it to the Sweet 16? The answer is yes. Penn in 78. Pan in 79, and Cornell in 2010. And can we add to that list in the next two minutes and 22 seconds? We're about to find out. Trying to trap, and they got the turnover. Really the first time today that that has Caused any problem for Princeton, and they've had very few turnovers. And if you're Princeton, you still want to finish this game out right. Only seven turnovers suffered by Princeton, and that one gives Missouri a chance here. And turnovers are the calling card of what Missouri likes to do. In the half court, Missouri will they'll give up some shots, but they normally turn you over and speed you up. But look at Missouri right now, only 55 points for a team that averages 79. Three-pointer doesn't go for Brown, and another rebound for Alaco. And then they foul Pierce on the way down the court. That one will be on Goldston. Pierce a 65% free throw shooter, so maybe not a bad choice in fouling him. They really didn't have a lot of choice. Time was more important than who they were fouling, but there's his numbers. It hasn't been there so far today. I've been really impressed with, with Princeton's poise and just their overall behavior and mannerisms. Like, if you look at their bench in the timeouts, normally this type of situation, you see guys over there jumping up, high five and dancing because they're so excited that they're this close to a win. But they're all calm. Like, like we expected to do this. They're engaged. That's for yeah. sure. A lot of people didn't think they could win this game, but they thought they could win it. Backdoor cut. Brown trying to get it to Golston, and it's picked up by Blake Peters. They're trying to foul him, and they can't get to him. And timeout taken by Princeton. 147 remaining. Seventy-one to fifty-five. A minute forty-seven remaining here in Sacramento, and the fifteenth seed in the South, the Princeton Tigers, trying to pull off yet another surprise. The winner of this one goes on to meet the winner of Creighton and Baylor.
It'll be played tomorrow. I'm not sure there's a whole bunch of people that thought the guys in the black and orange would be getting to that level. And there's another turnover. Winston was looking for a foul, didn't get it called. So it's 16 with 135 to go. Well, Carter's going to come back in. East will sit down. So Missouri's got all the firepower they can possibly muster on the floor right now offensively. It's just a matter of they can get it done. The short amount of time they have. Not a lot of time left. Golston drives in, score it off the window. Princeton can give up all those two. They did, they, right now, they just don't want threes. And on the offensive end, you got to value the ball and hit your free throws. And don't turn it over. And now they're going to foul Alaco. It's going to be on Hodge. Alaco saying, finally, you call a foul. Matt has not been to the free throw line yet today. Here out of Hilliard, Ohio. They call him Mush. He never stops talking. Coach Henderson says we call him Mush or Mush Mouth. Well, I bet she's going to be talking here in a, about a minute and 19 seconds. Yes, indeed. <laughs> They're going to be the talk of the town, the talk of the tourney, maybe. And for me, like I said, the surprising thing isn't that Princeton won this game. It's that they did it so decisively from beginning to end. There was never much doubt. There was never a time in this game after the first five minutes where I thought, man, Missouri's really taking control here. Missouri got it down to six a couple of times. And as soon as they did, Princeton had an answer every time. One minute to play. They're trying to chase down a woman to foul him. They don't get to him. I don't want to throw that guy. Hodge trying. To come up with a steal, Peters just on the dribble, playing keep away, and now they do get the foul on Hodge. Fans starting to celebrate in the stands. They can feel it now. Winston Tigers' last regional semifinal appearance, 1967. Coming into this game, there's no way, no way anybody thought Princeton would out-rebound Missouri to the tune of 44 to 29. Incredible. And then the way they handled the ball. 16 assists to only eight turnovers. Exact opposite of what happened them to them the other day against Arizona. This has been a well-played game from start to finish. Lake Peters, 17 points all in this half. And that's just... A matter of 45 seconds ticking off as Golston scores again, but too late to help save Missouri. Although they're going to take their final timeout right here. All right, 39 seconds to go. 14-point ball game. Last timeout taken by Missouri with 39 seconds to go, and they're down 14. Lake Peters. Tied his career high with 17 points all in this half. Missouri fans were not expecting this. And Caden Pierce probably wasn't expecting to end up with 14 rebounds. Or the scoring that he put on as well. Listen, this is big time right here. This is, hey, listen, don't tell me you want to win, show me you want to win. And when you go out there and get on the glass like that and have a type of rebounding performance that this young man has had, 15 rebounds, 7 offensive, that's showing me that you want to win. wonder if the Obamas had friends over to watch this game. Did the former first lady go to Princeton? I think so. I bet they're partying at the Obama household right now. Oh, no doubt. Out of bounds to Missouri. So they've come up with a couple of steals when they had to. But yeah, a little bit too much, too little, too late. Mitch Henderson, the shot of him as a player back in 96 when they upset UCLA, sort of went 
viral the other day after their first round win. It's funny that a picture that's 27 years old could be that viewed by that many people the other day. And I don't know if he'll be jumping for joy or just getting another shower in the locker room from his players. But they're that close right now. Yeah. And I give Missouri credit, and I know they want to play this thing all the way out, but it's 14-point game, 32 seconds. At this point, it's academic. And we get Caden Pierce back to the free throw line. Missed his only other attempts. But on the boards today, sensational. Sixteen rebounds. I might have said fourteen earlier. He's got sixteen rebounds. He may never match that again. And now Ewoma goes out as some of the starters coming out. Princeton with that luxury here with 32 seconds. There goes Ryan Langborg. Just a bucket shy of his career high today. <laughs> Mom and dad getting a picture or two. Moments that'll last a lifetime. <laughs> Ghosted on the drive. Scored again. He's had a big second half. Not going to be enough for Missouri. Missouri's going to have to regroup with a lot of guys that are upperclassmen. <laughs> now, now the crowd's starting to get a little upset with Missouri still playing the free throw game down 14 with 26 seconds. I got news for you. Isaiah Thomas ain't walking through that door. <laughs> Tracy McGrady versus the Spurs is not walking through that door. It's not going to happen. Alaco back at the free throw line. This will give him 10 points for the game. Great floor game by Matt as he did on Thursday in the win in round one. And now Peters goes out. Pierce goes out. Some of the guys that work hard all year long get a chance to play in an NCAA tournament game. And they'll get a chance to play in another NCAA tournament game next week. out the final seconds Steinberg in to get a chance to play for Missouri the guy that is their spark on the bench lost the ball out of bounds and now Matt Alaco gets a chance to shake hands with his coach and head to the bench to join the other starters School of under 5,500 from Princeton, New Jersey, 20 seconds away from history. Well played game, clean all the way through. The number 15 seed, the Princeton Tigers. It's never been sweeter if you're a Princeton fan than right now. Seventy eight to sixty three the final and a number 15 seed continues on the largest margin of victory by a 15 seed and as Brendan said it was really never in doubt once they got the lead in the first half they never relinquished it so they'll go on to meet the winner of Creighton and Baylor and that one's a seven o'clock Eastern tip on TBS tomorrow from Denver. The handshake lines continue. Great season for Missouri. They finish 25 and 10. But after a 12 win season last year, a great year, but not as great as it's feeling right now if you're a Tiger from Princeton.
And the team cheering on their fans over there in the corner. I think Dana's going to get right in the middle of that with the winning coach. And there she is, Dana, take it away. Coach, congratulations, Blake. Congratulations to both of you. You said you wanted that picture off the wall. This should do it. It was unbelievable. It went to the zone, gave us a different look. And then Blake happened. He's been doing that all year. He's absolutely fearless. Uh, this is awesome for our school. Like, Sweet 16 means a lot to our crew here. This is really special. Blake, this is something even your coach couldn't do as a player. Can you describe what this moment is like for you advancing to the Sweet 16? I can't. I have no words for you. We have such an unbelievable section here. I have the best teammates in the world. I love each and every one of them. Man. When we go out and believe in each other, I mean, anything is possible. I know it's cliche, but anything is possible! Coach, the poise that you wanted them to show, they did down the stretch. Where are they getting this from? I think we learned something that maybe you already knew about your team. Well, we had a loss about four weeks ago that just broke us open. And the group just has responded ever since then. That and these guys come here to win. And it's the best school in the country, and they feel good about representing their school. We have, look at these fans. So we're so thrilled to be here, but not surprised. Go celebrate. Just go celebrate. Congratulations. All right, thank, thank you. you. Thank you.